Shani Cole and welcome to my channel handbags and happiness if you like videos about handbags or handbag related things please consider subscribing to my channel please leave a comment give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it I have a great handbag for you today this is not an unboxing but it is a reveal it's a new handbag in my collection and I actually wasn't going to do a video about this handbag because the brand is not really popular here in the United States and there's not many videos about this brand on YouTube. However, I really like this brand and I really like this bag. It was sold out when it first came out. I waited too late, but then I clicked the little heart button to notify me when it came back in stock and when it came back in stock, I grabbed it up. And the reason I'm making this video is because Cassie Thorpe did a video last week on why you should not buy the Dior book tote. And she gave you about five reasons why you shouldn't buy that handbag. And I'm gonna piggyback on that video and I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should buy this bag instead of the Dior book tote. So after I show you the bag, I'm gonna go through those five reasons and I actually have a bonus for you at the end so there's technically going to be six reasons why you should buy this bag instead of the Dior book tote. So I unboxed this bag about, I don't know, sometimes after Christmas and I will insert pictures of the box it came in and also the packaging because I know people are always interested, well how did the box look when it came, um, did they package it well and things of that nature. So I'll insert those pictures here and you can see it was packaged really well. The box did get kind of beat up by the postal service but when you opened it up, the bag was completely wrapped in bubble wrap and then it was inside of its dust bag, so I had no issues with it. So the bag we're gonna be talking about today came in this dust bag and it is from Furla. Um, Furla is an Italian brand. They make phenomenal handbags, small leather goods, and a couple of accessories. The name of this bag is the Furla Opportunity Tote and it is a great substitute dupe for the Dior book tote. Let's look at it. So the dust bag is white and it just says Furla and it is a pretty thin dust bag, but it's nice enough to cover your bag. So here she is. Here is the Furla Opportunity Bag. And I'll turn her around. And this bag is made of jacquard, which is a weave fabric. It's the same type of uh, technology or weaving technology that's used on the Dior book tote. And I so let's talk about this bag more in depth. I'm going to be going through the five points Cassie Thorpe went through in her video. And if you don't know Cassie Thorpe, she is an amazing luxury handbag YouTuber and she makes some fun, amazing videos. Her energy is just electric. I'm gonna go through the points that she discussed on her video as they compare to this bag. So the first reason why she said you shouldn't buy the Dior Book Tote was because of the size. I agree, the Dior Book Tote, the original size and the one that most people do have with the Dior Oblique print had, is really, really big. This one is about in the same size of the medium and I will insert the dimensions so you can have the dimensions and some of the key facts about this bag but this one is a nicer size to me it's not as small as the small but it's the it's about in line with the medium Dior book tote this bag also comes in a smaller size and it also comes in a blue color I'll insert a picture here of the small size and the blue color so you can have an idea made the second point Cassie made in her video about why you should not buy the Bidor book tote is the wear and tear specifically the wear and tear on the handles what's great about this bag is the handles are leather well there's your card halfway up but then the top part where you normally hold the bag it's leather so all your oils and anything you may have on your hands will be on the leather portion and you could easily wipe it down the second point that she did not discuss in her video, but I want to talk about it because there's it's a special feature of this bag, is that this bag has metal feet. So it has five metal feet on the back, bottom of this bag, which means when you set it down, it'll keep the bottom from getting dirty 
are tarnished or ripped or things like that. It has one in the center and then one on each side. And I think that is a wonderful feature. The third point Cassie made in her video was about the security or the lack thereof, the lack of security when you carry this bag because it doesn't close. Well, you kind of have the same thing with this bag. It is one open space and unfortunately you can't see because it's a dark black hole. But what you do have with this bag that you do not have with the Dior book tote is you do have a zipper compartment. So if you needed to put your wallet, and that's just the care booklet, but if you needed to put your wallet or something like that in a secure part of the bag, and this is pretty deep, this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. You can see it with my hand. So if you wanted to, you know, zip up your wallet or zip up your personal effects, you could in this bag. But I think I still will purchase a bag organizer for this bag. The fourth point Cassie made was about the lack of organization, that most people who buy the Dior book tote also have to purchase a bag organizer. And I will likely be purchasing a bag organizer for this bag, but what this bag has that the Dior book tote doesn't have that I like is, in addition to the zip compartment, there are two small sleeve compartments right here where you can put things in like your cell phone would fit in this one. I think this one is big enough for maybe a lipstick, some pins, and things of that nature. What I also like about the organization of this bag is that the Dior book tote is jacquard on the front and it's jacquard on the inside. This bag, even though it's a black hole, it is lined. So if you put a water bottle in it or you put a pin in it, you're not gonna have to worry about damaging the interior of this bag because it's so dark and it's the jacquard, which is the most delicate part of the bag, the fabric, is actually protected with the lining. The fifth and final point Cassie made about the Dior book tote was the price. The price of a all fabric bag. The Dior book tote starts about $2,750, but this bag right here, this bag retails for $348. And guess what? You usually can use one of Furla's promo codes on it. So when I purchased this bag, I did use a promo code that they had sent me. It was Miss You, and I'll put it down here. But if you sign up for Furl Alerts, I think you also can get a 10, 15, or 20% off discount. And I got this bag 20% off. So I think it was an amazing deal. It brought this bag well under $300. Now for the bonus feature for this bag that the Dior Book Tote does not have. You might have saw it when I posted the pictures of the small one. If you get the small Furla Opportunity book tote, or they call it just the Furla Opportunity tote, but it is a book tote, if you get it, it comes with a leather strap. Now, I got the large version, and the large version does not come with a strap. However, the large version does come with two D-rings on either side. So if you wanted to purchase a leather strap, or I don't know, you could purchase a scarf, you could do whatever, you could actually attach a strap to this bag and wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. I personally didn't buy the bag to wear it that way, but it is a great versatile option. I purchased this bag to wear it either top handle or in the crook of my arm, like so, and that's the way I would wear it. Okay, well that's all for this video. I hope you like the Furla opportunity bag as much as I do. I highly recommend this bag. She is gorgeous. Um, this is the standard furla print. I really like it. It doesn't say furla on it, but people who know furla would know this is furla. So, but if you don't like logos and you don't like things like that, furla is not well known in the United States. So you could wear this bag and no one would know, you know, that it's a designer handbag. It's just a nice handbag that you have in your collection. Well, that's all for this video. I thank you so much for watching. I am just so happy to be back and making good quality videos. I'm trying different setups um, and different things that I bought. So hopefully um, the videos keep getting better. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.